really want to have it Ian compl- compl- conflict with. Say that three times fast. What you what you want? What you what you want? What's up, YouTube? Fat Kings Phil coming at you for my week 349 update from Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy, which I had back in July of 2013. Details are below. All right, uh, on the grind to a non plastic surgery. I don't know, they haven't canceled my surgery actually. It's still on the books, technically. Um, I would be highly surprised if it went through um, by the end of May. And even then, I'm not so sure I want to expose myself to, if I imagine to avoid it that long, I don't know if I want to expose myself to going into the hospital. Um, but yeah, so let's talk, recap the week. Um, yeah, it's been a, you know, this uh, work from home stuff is uh, not, uh, I'm, I'm thankful I have a job. I'm thankful that the bills are getting paid and all that good stuff, but uh, it uh, is not a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, I am back between projects um, due to some stuff that happened at work. So I'm waiting to start my new ones. I've been doing a lot of studying, trying to fill my day up with work-related stuff. Um, So I tend to work from 7 in the morning till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I just go straight through. I mean, I'll take like a 10-minute break here or there to grab food or whatever. But all in all, I just go straight through. And then at 3, I stop and I work out for probably about an hour, hour and a half. Depends on the day. Um, If the weather would get a little nicer, I would be more consistently working out uh, for an hour and a half because I'd be out doing my cardio which would be riding my bike, which I'd love to get out and ride my bike. But right now it's just too windy, too chilly. Um, so no, no go. Um, and I just can't, I mean, I do all the, the lifting and stuff in the house. Let me see. I could, I could do cardio, some kind of cardio here. Um, but, um, I have not made it a priority to do it. I choose not to do it that way. Let me put it that way. Um, so that's, that's how it is. Uh, given that this is going to last a little longer than two weeks, um, I rearranged furniture this weekend. Um, so I was exhausted on Sunday because Saturday all day, I'm pretty much from the time I got up to the time I went to bed, um, for 12 hours straight, I worked on this, uh, this office. So basically I moved, um, my office from the big great room in the other room, which is much darker into, um, my daughter's bedroom and set it up there because she's with her mom this semester and she's going to probably ride the rest of high school out at her mom's house. <clears throat> and then um, I figured this is going to be more than, you know, this would be a couple months like this at least. So I would rather um, have a workspace that's going to be flexible enough and have the right chair and the right, all that good stuff so that I'm, I'm able to work and not have to, um, you know, basically be all contorted on a table upstairs, uh, sitting on a bar stool or something. It's just, it's not comfortable. So, so that's been good. So workouts have been good. Eating's been pretty damn good. Um, mental outlook. eh, It's all right. I mean, it is what it is. Everybody's going through it. Um, some other big stuff going on in the background, just general life stuff. That's going pretty well. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, as well as it can be being that you're in isolation, and um yeah so that's kind of where things are at um did my f- five week photos from the start of this to now you know i'm very critical of myself so i don't see the kinds of changes i was hoping to see but i mean i can see differences don't get me wrong definitely leaner definitely the skin is definitely uh looser uh, it is definitely <laughs> has some of the fat sucked out of it um and the measurements tell the truth too i mean it's an inch here two inches there but um yeah, all in all, I'm still feeling like I'm feeling stronger. I feel like I feel so strong. I'm like, oh, I should look amazing. <laughs> it just doesn't look that way to me in the pictures. So, um, but I can definitely see a difference. So we'll see at the 12 week mark, you know, what it looks like. And then I'll do, I'll do the beginning to the end. I don't think five weeks is all that, uh, all that big of a difference. I mean, I can see it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, consistently, like I said, staying under 230. Um, Oh, I, I put the numbers up in the corner at some point, I'm sure. Um, I've been, I have not seen an over 230 um, weigh in at all last week. So that says on average, I'm probably around the 228, 229 um, range. So that's good. I can live with that. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, it's not about the weight. It's about, again, the strength and the, the um, <clears throat> you know, overall leanness. So we'll see how it goes. If the surgery doesn't end up happening, um, I'm, I may push it off a little bit further. I may push it into next year, which 
There's a reason for that. I got to wait and see. I have to decide. There's some other stuff coming up toward the end of the year that I don't really want to have it in conflict, conflict with. Say that three times fast. Um, so we'll see. We'll just see. If it happens in May, it was meant to happen. If it doesn't, then I'll have to reassess. I've got some other things that are just higher priority later in the year, I think. Um, if I'm not going to be healed up in time for those. Um, so, and we'll have to see how this whole economy goes too. I, I think this has got some bigger ramifications in the economy side of things than anything else. So, um, yeah. I'm in that hyperinflation camp. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I kind of think that's how it's going. So, uh, not to be uh, doom and gloom. All right. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'll get back with you next week. Uh, goals for this week are definitely to make sure my eating is, I'm, that I'm getting all of my protein and stuff. Actually, I'm under eating on most days because I just don't have enough broom to eat. <laughs> and then I'm having a hard time with the new schedule. That's really what's throwing it off because when I was at work, I just knew I go to this meeting, come out, have morning, second breakfast, as I like to call it. <laughs> and then, you know, go to the next meeting time and then around there. Oh, I have lunch or my pre-workout, go work out, come back, have my post-workout. Um, and then come home, eat my other meal and like a quick meal when I get home. And then later in the night, about seven, I eat, eat my other meal. So I'm trying to figure out the kind of the combination right now of where I want to do those because I want to eat before I work out, but I get hungry earlier. I don't want to wait till, I don't want to wait till like two o'clock to eat. I'm hungry earlier, like one. So I'm having this problem with getting everything in. Um, because I'm eating so clean, it's hard, hard to get lots of food in. So, um, but yeah, been, been doing great with it. And, uh, even with all this, the, the eating part's been the easy part. Um, and then the fitness has just been, I've been really pushing myself hard without having somebody here yelling in my ear actually to do this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping myself going. Not that I was going to have that at the gym either, but, um, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so far so good. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We'll get at it next week until then. Remember it's good to be the king.